How does he respond to this? How could he possibly respond to this? Okay. When you are... Please don't do the thing about... She was banned from my Discord server for sexualizing minors. Which oh is true. God. I didn't say she, why she was sex, sexualizing them. Um, I, don't think I, I don't think that was wrong to ban her or say why I banned her. Um, I do think that in my first interaction with her... Um, I was wrong to call her a manipulative abuser. If you can't handle or you're hurt by or upset by, you don't want your sexing details or sex details being leaked, then yeah, don't have sex with streamers. You have a platform and you're, you, should, you should be held to the same standards as somebody with a bigger platform. I am very confident that the article is coming out this week. This week! I can feel the buzzing excitement. This week, boys! In Destiny's fan base, as they amp up their attacks. Apparently, they're uh, doxing me in Elder Drazi's chat right now. <laughs> I think, uh, I think things are gonna get ugly. So. I don't know. I don't know what I want to say in preparation for this. Um, I guess uh, I don't want you to fight dirty. Um, I don't want you to to harass people. <clears throat> I don't even want you to attack people. I don't even want you to be mean to people. Um, that would be a I, I mean, like, I don't want to direct your engagement with this whole thing too much, but... I suspect that the article about Destiny is going to trigger a lot of cognitive dissonance in his audience. True. And they are going to take that out on me and you. And um, as much as I use... Uh, jokingly use the language of war. It's it's I, it's like a defensive thing, you know. I want I want us to be prepared for a ton of conflict, but really, um, it, if you want to support me, think about Gandhi. Peaceful protest, civil disobedience. That's what that's what would be supportive to me and supportive to the people I am talking about in the article. Wow. Um. Wow. <clears throat> Release it right now. It's not done. You keep saying that like it's done, and I could just push a button and. Realistically, if you have something that's potentially damning, what do you think it would be? Do you think Lav and Anna are the worst Scott? The cornerstone will be. Here's what I think. This is like the three pillars that he could build it on. One is going to be the Lav and Anna story, that I was abusive to both. For Lav, it's going to be that I somehow um, used my past sexual experience with her to be cruel to her on stream or some shit. With Anna, it's going to be that I was simultaneously deriding her publicly while having a titillating sexual relationship with her privately. Um, that those two are one corner. The second corner is gonna be a revisitation of every bad thing I've done, especially in regards to suicide. So it's gonna be, apparently some guy emailed me, oh, low tax emailed me asking to come on, and I said no, or I didn't respond, and then he killed himself, and I laughed about that. I've laughed at my friend laying on some train tracks and killing himself, and I've laughed about Rec Full killing himself. Because I laugh about these things, obviously I don't care about any of them, and I like it when people kill themselves. I think that the suicidality part is gonna be a big part of his article. And then the third, like, mystery part, I think, that I don't, that I just don't know about, is there's probably some girls that I've fuckboyed that have come forward who are like, oh, Destiny said he was gonna hang out with me, and then he never did, or something like that. That'd be like my guess, that'd be like a bonus meme. Um, that'd be my guess, but, uh, but other than that, I mean, like I said, he already dropped all the sexual assault and coercion like allegations, so he obviously didn't find anything there, but. Yeah, that's called being selfish. It's usually what you do when you don't love somebody. Look at this. What am I looking at this for? I'm sorry, maybe I live under a rock. I don't know who the hell this destiny person Oh, dick right. We only take people that hate me here, okay? Yeah, he'll bring up DDoS kid about directing my audience to murder people. You can usually tell what he's working in the article because him and Lav will be talking about it quite a bit. publish it but I, I can't there's a lot of work she's cute to do though <laughs> yeah still. she is 
Uh, they I don't need any more people in my games. That's article. not true. <laughs> I think they Stop. can hurt you quite a bit, but whatever. I subscribe to your mid-tier Patreon if I like the article. Nice. And if you don't like it, just subscribe to the lowest tier. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it. It's quite long now. Uh, I think it's over 50,000 words. <laughs> What 150 the? pages. What? I expect that some of that will be cut out. Motherfucker's writing Lord of the Rings. I, I don't know. Part two. Um, can't you start releasing it in parts? I don't want to do that. I, the problem is that... Okay, the reason that Destiny has been able to... <laughs> Oh, let's guess. The reason why Destiny has been able to skirt responsibility so far is because nobody's actually given a full accounting of the horrible things he's done. So all the he's always been able to hide behind, you haven't seen the full context, you haven't watched the full video, but I'm gonna have everything here. And unfortunately, for a lot of Destiny stuff, a lot of context is required. You need to see lots of videos, you gotta comb through lots of footage, you need the full context for everything. So it has to be like, that's my guess. Let's see what he says. Persist. with his decent reputation among his own fans for as long as he has is he makes so much content and so many of these stories are so spread out that there are there are people who know all of them <clears throat> but most people don't most people don't know the details of them i want this to be the first time it's all been laid out at once for everyone to see mm -hmm. and um, because Destiny's fans and Destiny himself has proved, proven that they're able to kind of metabolize and reframe and distort these events one at a time, I don't think that drip feeding them is a good idea. True. It, it, it kind of subverts what I'm trying to do. Which we gotta is get to it all say, out like, there. This, this is how he uses his platform all at once. Uh, Destiny's community is retarded. True. Not all of them. They're actually kind of smart. Like, they um, they say a lot of things and use a lot of argumentation styles that I think are pretty stupid. But as individuals, they are smart. Remember Men in Black? Yeah, we all know the quote. When Tommy Lee Jones is like... <clears throat> Pe a person, person is smart. Is, people, people are, are stupid. stupid. Yeah. That's how they are. Thanks. Each individual one. Is I'm in not this guy's head. Okay. Smart. Can someone link a screenshot of DGDR's doxing Max? I don't think that's a good idea. Remember to kill your darlings. Writing and editing. Yes, I know. Um, it's weird though. I I will in my um, part part parts of it that are just like essay or interpretation that that are just me writing. I will there, but. Um, a lot of it's just like an evidence dump, so mm -hmm. I don't know. If Destiny wanted to make a difference in the lives of those who listen to the conservative people he hangs out with, he wouldn't have dyed his hair blue. It's just not how you reach these those people at all. Wow. Thanks for the advice. Please tell me how to do my job. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if Destiny's brought more people to the right or to the left. True. Uh, hard to say. Will you do an audiobook version? I can't be bothered with 140 pages. No, but there'll be a summary at the beginning that will be like two pages. You could just read that. Like if you if you take my word for everything, you can just it'll be a couple pages. If you want um, to have these things like proven to you, then yeah, you're gonna have to read the whole thing or to make your own interpretation. Um, have you thought about what the lady in the last chat said and sent it to some orgs who are working on bullying and stuff like that? That seems to be a good idea or maybe draft a version for professionals. This is the version. One of the big things that would show Max's narcissism that I'm pretty reasonably sure about, I could be wrong, because he might not be quite this delusional, is I wonder if he didn't have a single person besides Lav or Shailen actually proofread this. That would go to show pretty far, like, are you really so confident in your accounting of everything, despite the fact that you apparently are a victim, that you didn't even get a person to proofread? You didn't get a person to do like a, like a glance over to make sure that everything's okay? I wonder if he had anybody check this over, besides Lab and Shailen, who are like fully like in his camp, right?
version for professionals. It'll just have a summary at the game. Like I said, I, I, I'll, I'll make it as accessible as possible. It'll be like a pool. There'll be like a warm little shallow end that you can kind of dip your feet in. And then there will be like that horrific dive pool in Dubai where you can dive down like 100 meters or whatever. That'll be at the other end. One of your anti-fans on Reddit wants to know if you're still writing two articles or just the one. Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I want to see where I'm at in a couple days. <laughs> it might just be one, but I want to. I just. I. I. I haven't. I haven't written my part yet. Um. And I don't want to spend too long on that, so I'll kind of see what comes out. And um, decide if it like fits with the rest. <laughs> He's waiting to see the reception of his first article, basically. Destiny changing his hair color was a big reason I stopped watching. What? <laughs> but he promised he would for some other reason like a year ago, didn't he? He avoids a lot of stuff by letting his orbiters do the dirty work, particularly True. his more rabid orbiters who True. can draw the heat away from him. Absolutely. Yeah, so... Uh, like this, the white the, blood cells, the section about Lav, mm -hmm. poor Lav, um, and Anna. A lot of it and is Anna. about tracking the movement of messaging and community response through the, the orbiters, orbiters, with Destiny giving a signal, the orbiters picking it up, um, kind of carrying out his orders and how, how absolutely. How the like, uh, he's got like the whole like ISIS command structure like figured out, yeah, based. The whole organism works in concert to accomplish something, mm -hmm. um, which just takes so much evidence to lay out. For sure, would you have to see like this stream and this stream and this stream and this stream? See, and, it's a lot of uh, video like, evidence, the, guys. The organized. Um, Kind of feel bad for Anna in this, to be honest. You think she might start looping about being... She might, unfortunately, but he doesn't give a fuck about her, remember? Yeah, so but I, I totally agree. Like, if De Destiny's very careful to give himself plausible deniability every step of the way um, in conversations uh, overall with the whole community, with how he talks about these things, um, sometimes he just can't do it, but for the most... It's really funny that if you compare it, and I'm not trying to throw counterpoints on the bus, but my big issue with counterpoints on other people I talked to about the Twitter files is this type of language. Huh plausible deniability. What Max is able to do sometimes is really interesting is anytime I do something that he would perceive as like, oh, it's good that Destiny did this thing. He says, oh, no, no, no. Destiny just did that for plausible deniability. Like when I was very clear with my boundaries with Lav, that wasn't because I was actually like trying to be uh, cautious or careful of boundaries. It was just because I wanted plausible deniability. When I do crack down on my subreddit for being mean to people, that's just because I want plausible deniability that they're crazy, right? There's always like a, an ulterior reason for why I do something. I can never, ever, ever be given like credit for a good action. It's always because there's a driving motive behind the scene. It's part, he is v very careful. So in order to show intent, it takes a ton of data. Mr. Gall, I guess you know about the current panel about you going on. Any comment on it? Uh, why did you schedule a panel about me during my call-in show? Was that on purpose? You trying to bait me? Huh? You trying to bait me, motherfucker? Uh, I don't really have any comment. I don't know what they're saying. Uh, Stardust and Zonia seem a bit unhinged right now. You want to check in on it? Stardust and Zonia are in an interesting spot because Lav now has gone full transphobic. It used to be that she just was kind of like radfem transphobic, so like she kind of doesn't like trans women because she thinks they're men, but she doesn't say much about it. But now she's just full on like calling Zonia a man and shit on Twitter. It's pretty insane. She's like, ah, f
shit, homie. I don't give a fuck. I'm going full, full fucking transphobe. Yes. Which I, I respect. You want to check in on it? They're probably going to just talk about lav the whole time. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Wow, what the fuck was that? I apologize for that sound. What if that was the brain control okay, right. sound, and now we're all under his spell? Oh no. Pushing back quite That's what he played for lav. False claims are made. And now she's having to deal with the brunt of it in a space that is very concentrated and it's... Oh, uh, whatever. They're going to start talking about lav and responsibility and stuff. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fuck, who cares? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that noise. I don't know why that happened. It will never happen again. Now, was that noise technically abuse, do you think? You liked that sound. Um. Hey, yeah, it just sounds like they're. Yeah, I don't want to listen to them either. It just sounds like they're going to be talking about Lav uh, not taking responsibility and needing to be held responsible for the things she says. Um, <laughs> How horrible, dude. I think you'll come away from the article thinking that Destiny is uh, Sociopathic? a Sociopathic? Oh, or that. Okay. Based. He lies a ton. True. And I really don't think any of these people are going to be doing panels about how he needs to be held accountable for his lies, even though they are incredibly destructive to the people he tells them about. True. Thanks, M of the Wired. Can you believe that someone would just go online and say things? <laughs> That's what they're doing, yeah. You didn't teach your daughter responsibility? That's not a very good dad. Uh, I'm new to the job, right? God, the father-daughter shit is so fucking uh, creepy hoping, and cringe. I'm, so I'm taking the week off of streaming. Um, the next stream will be. Wait, doesn't he take every week off from streaming? How often does this guy stream like twice a week for three hours each? The Mr. Girl Hotline. I'm hoping it will be done this week. That's the goal. Uh, and I think it is very, very likely. Ooh. Very, very likely. Way too many are obsessed with Lav. It's actually worrying. Yeah, well, I talked about this before, but. Um, I think it's really about uh, Destiny. Yeah. I think that he provides foils for anything that people want to criticize him on. There is somebody who is more that thing um, in the eyes of the community. So I think making unsubstantiated claims or lying or being flighty or flip-floppy or um, being irresponsible, I think these are the the ways that he has painted Lav it mm -hmm. seems to be the community's general opinion of her now. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> he does all those things. For sure. Um, he, and she doesn't do them as much as he says she does. And he does them more than she, he admits think to. she does. It's, yeah. So I think he just sets it up in this zero-sum game between himself and, and always somebody else. So if in any in any conflict or context where you would be criticizing him, he's always got somebody else who he can redirect to. Based. And now the the foil for any slipperiness or dishonesty is Lav. Zonia's obsession with Lav is puzzling to me. Um, yeah, I know Lav has said some transphobic stuff to Zonia, but. I oh, don't. At least he admits it. I don't know if that accounts for it. But yeah, Zonia's like fixated. Zonia was unhinged when she talked to Shaylin. Yeah, so for those of you who didn't see it, uh, Shaylin called into. Shaylin's my girlfriend. And. Are there people watching who have no idea what's going on? Destiny is this big streamer, and I'm writing an article about how he's abusive. And one <laughs> of the people who is coming forward to say that he is, was a. Uh, emotionally abusive to her is um laugh and there was a stream where he called her uh, a nobody's dumb bitch. read the article yet because it hasn't come out yet a dumb um, bitch. there's a stream where a dumb four bitch. destiny allies were trying to convince lav to write a statement exonerating destiny 
So Lavender. Wait, what? Destiny hadn't spoken about. F really spoken. Um, Is that what was happening that months. stream? And they hadn't spoken in public at all. Somebody can find a quote for me, but I'm pretty sure in that stream, when I was asked at the end, what do you want? I just said, I wish you would stop talking about me and talking shit about me and leaking and personal details about me and every f she can't keep my name out of her mouth that's all i asked for but okay uh, since november i think and um lav was talking about her experience and how she thought destiny was emotionally abusive to her um and how mixing so, yeah it sounds like he quotes like, like one person or something but okay dude being dogpiled and humiliated by Fuck. this community with her struggles with mental illness and the fact that they had a sexual relationship were all just like really devastating to her. And Destiny, Destiny himself called into the stream. Wait, what did he say? Hold on. Her experience and how she thought Destiny was emotionally abusive to her um, and how mixing being dogpiled and humiliated by his community with her struggles with mental illness and the fact that they had a sexual relationship were all just like really devastating to her. No, okay, never mind, whatever. And Destiny, Destiny himself called into the stream to debate her, basically, and was like, debated her away from some claims she had made. I think that like she had said that um, he didn't, protect her and he was like no i asked you if you were okay didn't i didn't i and and she um ba i think she backed away from that claim Good job. and then he basically said what did i do that was abusive to you in our relationship and she couldn't name anything um but so i know he was like okay so i wasn't abusive to you and she was like well i still support the I article i don't everything. know so then he was like okay i win and and left first of all the idea that you're going to handle an abuse allegation against the biggest figure in your community by having that person debate the accuser before her claims and any evidence have been made public um, and then four of your lackeys are going to sit there supporting it is like fucking insane that's like not does he think there are claims that like I like how the is the implication there that there are things that haven't been made public Lav can't keep her mouth shut about anything if there was evidence of anything else do you really think that she would have said something by now? Like, what does he think they're gonna fucking have? I, f I feel like there's gonna be, I wonder if it's gonna be wacky. Like, there's gonna be some shit where it's like, um, when Destiny and Lav initially met, Lav said that she wasn't hungry, but Destiny insisted that she meet him at a place where he could eat in front of her, making her uncomfortable and throwing her off balance on a night where he knew. Like, I wonder if it's gonna be some weird fucking shit like that. He didn't even give her gas money. True. Not how any organization, a reputable organization, handles. Why? Also, why would he appeal to how any reputable organization handles anything when every step of the way, his handling of this like weird investigation shit has been so beyond the pale? Like nobody would support how he's gone about like investigating any of these things. Right. So why would he appeal to any like what would a reputable organization do? He's clearly left those standards in the fucking dirt. An abuse allegation at all. Um, and then he left and then the, the orbiters tried to get her to sign a statement exonerating him. They were like, will you absolve him of any claims of abuse? You don't have to distance yourself from the article, but, but for your own part of the article, like they're just trying to like basically flip her. Oh, maybe this happened when I wasn't there. I, I guess, guess against I me or against herself. And it absolutely functions like a cult. Yeah, yeah. It's like fucking terrifying yeah, watching. I'm it's, the it's culty so one weird. here, for sure. Okay, here's what's weird. If you're going to have a cult, the people in your cult should know that they're in a cult so they know to act normal in public. It totally makes sense for them to try to coordinate to get Lav to absolve Destiny. If they're in a cult, they're in the cult of Destiny and they want to zero in on his ab abuse victim um victims victims to, or <laughs> Sorry. alleged abuse victims to try to make them like take back their claims before the article comes out and like sink my article i get the logic of that what i don't get is having them do it in such a way that makes all of them look completely fucking insane it does not help you're not helping him it doesn't help him 
I don't even. He, I think he genuinely does think in Max's mind, he really does think that when his article comes out, it's gonna go big. A lot of people are gonna distance themselves from me, except for my most diehard fans. And that in his grandest ideas, that maybe I'll get banned from YouTube. Like he really does think that this is gonna be like a really, really, really big deal. I even have to interpret what happened. I don't have to explain this to the audience. I can just cut pieces of a transcript of you telling Lav that she should write a thing exonerating him even though she just said that he's abusive because he came in and yelled at her and debate broed her out of his or out of her abuse claims. All I have to do is just show that you did that and you look out of your fucking minds. It's so strange to me that you I will say that I think the funniest things about all of this that are just so transparently fucking hilarious. I wonder if he's keeping this in mind as he's writing. I kinda don't want to reveal this what somebody could do, because maybe it would help him, but like I, I don't think it, I don't think anything over here. If you take the way that he presents Lab's abuse claims towards me, and then my response to those abuse claims about how like, well, it doesn't matter how Destiny felt, what matters how Lab felt, blah, 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 blah. How the fuck can he get upset when Cherry and Stardust claim that he was like fucking trying to show his dick to them in a fucking video? Like, I don't know how he can do one, but not the other. I super don't understand how he could ever pull that off. Like your, all of your efforts to help him are probably going to hurt him. And then after that, Destiny came back in. Oh, no, no, sorry. After that, Shaylin, my girlfriend, called in and started screaming at everybody and was like, what, like, why are you, why would you be doing this? Shaylin, the hero. Why are you dogpiling her? Why are you gaslighting her? <laughs> why are you telling her she didn't experience what she experienced and allowing her alleged abuser to come in and, and yell at her when earlier in the day, he called her mid-Jewish pussy. He was like- Oh, and then there's always, it's like, when I say something like that, when I go personal on her, when I make like a random throwaway comment, it's so horrible and abusive. But when she's literally like sexually harassing me, when she's leaking personal details of our hookups to a Nazi guy that fucking hates me and lying about it at the same time, when she's engaged in sexual misconduct, it's perfectly a-okay. But me making a random comment on how she's mid-Jewish pussy, that's like the worst thing in the world. It's always the double standard. Standard. Like, why would I risk my career for some mid-Jewish pussy? And he also told her that she's she's turning out exactly like her abusive mother. True. That's just a statement of fact. Like, he's being openly abusive. Why would you, why would you? It's abusive to say mid-Jewish pussy. Is that an abusive comment? That's abuse? <laughs> the same day that he said that to her, why would you try to get her to write a statement saying he'd never been abusive? Shailen was correct to intervene because they were trying to put words into Lav's mouth, but I think optically, it was optically not the best. I don't care what's uh, good optically. I care about what's I right. I think that's nonsense. Optically, <clears throat> I think it's fine. Oh, wow. I, I, I don't agree with delusional. that. Okay. I think coming in and saying, what the fuck are you doing is like a totally needed splash of cold water in everybody's face to like try to wake you the fuck up and then see like what do you what do you do when faced with that question from like <clears throat> obviously Shaylin's like involved and not an outsider but I think she does have an what would be a more normal outsider's perspective of like what how is she an outsider she's your literal live-in sex slave slash bang maid slash sole employee who relies on you for emotional support however else you've mind fucked her and you're her sole employer and provider of housing of all the people involved in this, Shaylin is probably the most compromised person of everybody. Like, what the fuck are you people doing? And they start calling her a, a dumb cunt and uh, a psychotic bitch. So yeah, Stardust and Zonia went like insane. I don't agree, sorry. Well, you don't have to, that's fine if you don't agree. You haven't even read the article um, yet. This is actually the clinical definition of gaslighting from a non-clinician. Yeah. Telling somebody that they didn't feel what they felt and being like, can you, can you prove that your abuse allegations are true? Was abusive. Why do you never include what Lav did? Do you think Destiny called her mid-Jew pussy unprovoked? How does he respond to this? How could he possibly respond to this? Okay, when you are 
Okay. Please don't do the thing about the size because I've got a nine inch in white big cock. That means that you're allowed to say whatever you want about me and leak personal details about me and be sexually abusive towards me. You can do all those things because I'm a larger fucking, because I'm a larger streamer. Please don't tell me he's going to go that route. Bro, at this stage, like, could I, could you like rape a celebrity? Is that okay? Since it's a way bigger person than you? Or like, could I like leak nudes from fucking, uh, from some like A-lister? Pedro Pascal, could I leak his nudes because he's bigger than, like, it's such a, stu there's, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like fighting against a streamer right now. Surely he's not going to say anything that fucking stupid. The top of a power structure. Just kidding, he is. <laughs> My you have bad. power over other people. I don't, what power? She's not even a professional streamer. She's an OnlyFans girl with a TikTok. I have no power over her. What is the power? Where's the power? You cannot use a tit for tat rationale it's not tit for tat it's a throwaway meme comment a tit for tat would be if i were to start leaking personal sex details about her for the things you say and do so if you don't believe that destiny is the powerful figurehead at the top of this system then that's the answer that's why we are seeing things differently if you do believe that and if you believe that Destiny has the power to blacklist Lav, which he did. From where? Lav off. What did I, I think I said so, I think I said for one day, I was like, I don't want to be, deal with anybody that does like panels with these people because of your creepy fucking harassment allegations and, and weird investigation where you're harassing me in real life, which, which by the way is totally fair. I dropped that after like two days when I was like, you know what? Never mind. Like, she obviously is not blacklisted when she's talking to, like, 15 of my fucking friends on a call constantly. What is she blacklisted from? Off of communication with him and ban him from her, from ban her from his, um, Discord and stream and subreddit, which at times he has. To Wait, what? Destiny has the power to blacklist Lav, which he did to cut Lav off of communication with him and ban him from her, from ban her from his um, Discord and stream and subreddit, which at times he has. Why did I ever ban Lav from my subreddit? Is he talking about the shooters? To ban all mention of her, which he has. The banning all mention is usually to reduce harassment from for either party. What are you talking about? I like how there's no, look, it's like a no win. I can't do anything. Like if I would have allowed people to continue talking about her, then it would have been, oh, he lets his subreddit rag on her all the time. He's letting his subreddit constantly do all his work from There's like, it's like no winning here. If you concede that he is holding all the cards, then um, him using all of his weight to attack her and him saying things like she's mid Jewish pussy on stream in front of thousands of people is totally different from what his rationale for that was that she told a very small streamer in private that uh, she was like weirded out by his dick or something. It's gotta be this. It, it's it, it's delusion. He's got he's so delusional. It's like the Dr. K shit. Um, he really doesn't see how, like, he thinks that, like, to an average person, that statement would make sense. It wasn't just a random, small, private person. It was a guy who was part of a community that, one, got your stream banned, and two, fucking hates me. Like, it's like an insane statement to, to make. So, so, I suspect you are a bit... Uh, Bias? Indoctrinated. So oh, where are the indoctrinated Let's just take it always. to a different... I like to use, like, um, Jimmy Kimmel as an example. So imagine Jimmy Kimmel has uh, somebody, somebody who does, like, stand-up occasionally on his show, but basically a, a, tiny, a tiny comedian told another comedian that he had a weird dick. In private, and that comedian put it on Instagram. The responsible and appropriate thing for Jimmy Kimmel to do in that case 
would be to fire her. If it turned into a huge Why news thing, my employee? then yeah, he can make a joke. Um, but it's probably a self-deprecating joke. What well, would not be appropriate for? It's so crazy how you have so many videos crying about how like having to pay any attention whatsoever to Shaylin or to have a sexual interaction with her that doesn't resemble rape is like selfish of Shaylin to demand that it's like such a horrible ordeal that he has to suffer through. But then when he's talking about like my interactions with Lab and what they should be, I basically have to be like King Cuck. I have to be like, oh yeah, like I understand that she said all these horrible things about me and she continues to be like abusive towards me and leaks like weird sexual details and all that. But I'm the bigger content creator, so I kind of have to just grin and bear it, and that's just like the way of the world. And if Lav wants to do Lav things, like it's okay. But like, it's such an insane statement. Him to do is to viciously attack her, um, and say like we're not talking about this person anymore, and to to like watch her stand-up shows on live on his show and like de like debate like it's it's just it's it's a very odd behavior but i i think that the way that he excuses this and probably maybe you believe this is by always reframing things so that there is no power differential mentioned so it it doesn't matter um what she did it doesn't matter there's nothing there's nothing anyone there's no there's nothing any streamer can do where I am going to call them mid Jewish pussy. Or mid whatever pussy. There is never a time where I am going to make a statement about the goodness of someone's pussy. Include make it racialized. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? Racialized. Um, and someone I've had a sexual relationship with, like I would, I, it's it's just really irresponsible, harassing use of power, and that is the problem. And then you're gonna point to like, no, Lav deserves it. She's so unlikable. She's no, she actually is mid Jewish pussy. She's a fucking bitch. So. By your rationale, it is ethical for someone with a gigantic platform to act, act, actively seek out women that he can frame as or who, who his audience will find unlikable so that he can dogpile them and smear them for your entertainment. They're like, as long as the women are hateable enough, then he, it's okay for him to direct large amounts of racialized hate at them. Just the existence of women out there that you don't like means that this gigantic streamer can like dig up these women from wherever he can find them, fuck them, and then just direct ab abuse at them for so you can laugh? Lav found me. Lav contacted me. Lav pursued a sexual relationship with me. Like, is all of this just... What, like, I don't understand how I'm, like, the total bad guy here. What the fuck? Like, she tried to hit up Hassan first. Didn't work. She's probably hit up other people and fucked them. I, she has on TikTok. She's talking about that. How is this all, like, my fault? She seeked me out. She was the one that sent me fucking DMs. I could be wrong, but I think the only reason we even de... Um, the only reason we even risk... Uh, hold on. I think the only reason we reconnected is because she reached back out to me after we hadn't talked for a long time. What is the, um, I'm trying to think of, oh, do I have her phone number? Fuck. Let's see. Damn, I forgot we even texted. When did we start doing stream stuff? I 
Oh, damn, I don't even remember these. This was December 14th, 2021. Oh, so she re she texts me out of nowhere, December 14th, 2021. <clears throat> watching her stream feels like I'm watching my history teacher teach a lesson in a very naughty way. Or maybe like a really passionate government teacher. Either way, I'm wet. That was her, that was her first four text messages to me on December 14th, 2021. She's clearly hitting on me. Like, <clears throat> I said, ah ha ha, oh God, but also I'm very flattered. Smiley face, how's your recovery going and all that? Because she just had her surgery. I'm alive, that's always good. How does it feel to outlive Hassan? I don't even know what that, is that a reference to her? <clears throat> oh, I said, well, barely, we'll see what happens. Oh, I think because he'd gotten banned around this time. I never know if I'm gonna catch a ban over random shit. Funny tea. Hassan was sleeping with my friend when she was 17 slash 18, like very hairy when he was like 25. I said, well, damn, LOL, she says, and that's, and then years later, he's like very against that. I said, I mean, if she was 18, it's whatever, but I know what you mean. Limfeo, I don't give a shit. I feel like age of consent is arbitrary. It could be sometimes, yeah, it just depends. It's just funny because of who he postures himself to me. <clears throat> I guess I don't know his position. She says, well, does it depend on, does a sex fairy come bop you on the nose the night of your 18th birthday? I said, I hate texting. You're gonna make me type out complicated age of consent arguments on text. I, I hate texting. I wanna type instead. I hate my fucking phone. phone. Hold on, what else is this? Jesus. <clears throat> oh, and then I type out, why am I even doing this? Some older person using leverage. Oh my God, what a weird foreshadowing of everything. What a strange text. I'm sorry. She said, we can fight on a call or voice memo. I say, ah ha ha, fuck you. If some older person is using leverage or the position of power to get with some younger person who doesn't know better, then obviously that's a yikesy situation. She says, maybe. I say, I just want someone to take advantage of and abuse me. Okay, is that too much to ask for? Where's my sex fairy smiley face? She says, I just know that I've been 16 and talked my way into a lot of older men's pants. Jesus. I said, yeah, I mean, it's possible to be cognizant of this. It's hard for any outside party to determine. She says, because the narrative is that all women are victims and too tiny brain can't comprehend bad and good <laughs> jesus i say yeah sometimes women get treated like children for sure that's a whole other subject she says can black people say the n-word i have no idea why she's asking this i have no idea to be honest no one knows lameo my surgery was moved to late january but i'm stable blah 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 <laughs> my surgery was moved to late January, but I'm stable and the surgery has a downtime of a week or two. Sorry if I framed it like I was dying. I love attention. <laughs> okay. Jesus. That was in December. <clears throat> January 15th. Um, on January 15th, I texted her saying, I'm gonna be in LA from the 19th to 20th. If you wanna hang out or eat or anything. Then she doesn't respond until February 3rd. So I, th I think I figured she wasn't interested. She said, just dropped in. I checked on your YouTube archive and was screaming. Oh, huh, funny. Just dropped in to say, I checked out your YouTube archive and I was screaming at the Anna confrontation and saw I didn't respond to you. I had heart surgery. I had one a one track mind. I said, oh, did everything go okay? She said, yeah, hopefully I'm cured. I'll know if I'll die later, blah, blah, blah. Jesus. Then we stopped talking in February. Then she messages me on March 27th, saying, making fun of trans people. Then she messages me again on May 2nd. Something about, saw you on Mr. Girl's trans culture panel and thought this was interesting. Then she messages me again on June. Someone messaged me saying, you listened to a bit of my chaotic call-in with Max. I don't know what you said about it, but I do actually wanna hear your thoughts because I feel like I was gaslit into oblivion. <laughs> and I said, wait, holy shit, was that you, LOL? She said, unfortunately. I said, also, fuck, can you add me on Discord or something? I suck at texting so much. She said, yes. Or not add me, but talk to me there. We've already spoken on Discord. Oh, adding you is too personal. What's your user? I give her my username. Lost the password of the account, blah, blah, blah. 
Oh, and then on June 13th, I message her and I say, did everything end up okay last night? She says, Christ. I put a smiley face. She says, he just unironically sees women as like evil beings. It got to a fine place, but he ended it with saying he wouldn't platform me because of my OnlyFans. I said, LOL, what the fuck? I said, yeah, he's super interesting to talk to, but he definitely has a very rigid view on how he sees the world. And sometimes it feels like he tries to cram everyone into it, sometimes really, really aggressively. She said, he also said I wanted him to put me in my place. It felt like he was seducing me, like a weird sexual game. And I said, LOL, nice, just be careful. He said, I will not talk to him again, unless it's a debate, I think. I want to talk to Erudite, I'm jumping in. I said, she's super cool, I could connect you with her 100%. She, on July 3rd, she messaged me, tell Max to put me on the abortion panel or I'll find out where he lives. And then from July, we don't talk until September 1st, she messages me and says, hello, retard. <laughs> she says, hello, retard. I said, don't ever call me that. I'm sorry, I'm just reading this to illustrate how we would joke a little bit. She says, hello, retard. I said, don't ever call me that. She said, or what? And I said, you know what? And she said, you're gonna rape me at gunpoint? Give me one second and I'll tell you where to Uber to. I'm just giving you these jokes because like, I know they're, there's gonna be some joke I made on lab and he's gonna say like, this was a serious comedy man. It's like, we just told like stupid jokes like this all the time. I said, no gross, I just kill you and dump the body. <clears throat> oh, this is when we were gonna hook up, I think. She said, haha, I have no idea what we're doing. If it turns into just a long drive, so be it. I said, we can also just walk around or something. I don't know. She said, honestly, Uber anywhere to blank. I'll come scoop you up like a cheap prostitute. I said, you're not gonna crash or anything, right? She said, I may. We can go to a, a wax museum. I said, no, museums make me bored, fuck you. She said, it's a wax museum. And I said, okay, fine. I get there at some time. Blah, 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 blah. Whatever, okay, sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> this idea that I like, I hunted her down and like plucked her out of like some bullshit. When she, like, <laughs> Jesus, I'm sorry. These characterizations are so fucking wild. Like, fuck them and then just direct ab abuse at them for, so you can laugh? Like, do you not, you don't really don't see any problem with that? It's fine if you don't, like I, maybe you just, the article might just not be for you, but I am pretty sure that to a normal person, and if you transpose this into like a, a more a normal, accepted, like normally accepted situation or a situation where more normal people are in, like watching Jimmy Kimmel, if week after week Jimmy Kimmel is like, oh, this other fucking bitch lied about me. This fucking c lied about me. Yeah, I fucked her, but now I think she's crazy. She's a crazy lying bitch. She can't shut the fuck up about me. She said I'm a bad father, so now I'm gonna talk about her for a year. You Wait, is he talking about Anna or Lav? Normal person, and if you transpose this into like a, a more a normal, accepted, like normally accepted situation, or a situation where more normal people are in, like watching Jimmy Kimmel, if week after week Jimmy Kimmel is like, oh, this other fucking bitch lied about me. This fuck the problem with Anna wasn't just one thing. It's like you guys. The problem with Anna was she was streaming about me every single day for years. She got partnered off of it. It was triggering the fuck out of me. Can cunt lied about me. Yeah, I fucked her, but now I think she's crazy. She's a crazy lying bitch. She can't shut the fuck up about me. Jesus. She said I'm a bad father, so now I'm gonna talk about her for a year. You think that was just me? Like, I, I. <laughs> okay. Anyway, this, the, this is the whole point of the article, is to take these behaviors and kind of lay them out and, and show you, like... Thank you so much. ...that it's really, it's actually really abnormal. Um, and people keep saying all streamers are like this. I don't... I, I, I know there... Uh, yeah, streamers are gossipy and sling mud and stuff, and, like, like a lot of them shouldn't be doing that. But I, I, I have not personally heard of other streamers of this size with this level of involvement from their audience making like weekly content out of directing hate at their own friends and sex partners. Bro, half the other streamers have like rape accusations. What do you mean you've never heard of? This is like when when the people criticizing me talking to um, Richard Spencer are like, yeah, I don't think No Jumper is about that. When they've had like rappers that are ex-murderers and shit on. Like, give me a, stop the virtue signaling. 
I think it's completely abusive and actually insane. Mr. Girl, then were you wrong for calling Lav a pedo and a dumb bitch? You were bigger than her. I never called her a dumb bitch. <laughs> he doesn't respond to the pedophile thing! Is he going to? Destiny called her a dumb bitch. Refocus on me, that's good. Is he gonna address the pedophile thing or the fact that he banned um, her from her server? Or called I didn't her call her a pedo either. I said she was banned from my Discord server for sexualizing minors. Which oh is true. God. I didn't say she, why she was sexual, sexualizing them. Um, I, don't think I, was, I don't think that was wrong to ban her or say why I banned her. Um, I do think that in my first interaction with her, um, I was wrong to call her a manipulative abuser. Yes. Wow. I do think that was wrong. Oh, okay. At least he respects uh, his daughter. Yes, and that small streamer leaked it to a large streamer and Ethan Ralph. Yeah, if you don't want people talking about your dick, don't have sex with streamers. Like, again, this is just part of... And, you know, if you ask Destiny, if you if you look him in the eye and you're like, Destiny, did it hurt you or upset you that Lav leaked that? He'd say, no, I don't give a f Leak anything you want. Anybody can leak anything they want. I'm a totally open book. I don't care what anybody... But seriously... N no, hold on. That's not true. It actually does kind of hurt, especially because girls don't usually do that. It's usually guys that are, like, leaking shit like that. Um... And ultimately, it was big tech that did do it. But no, yeah, it is actually a little bit hurtful when you've got like a prior hookup partner that had a good experience, that you know you had a good experience, somebody that was a friend, yeah, is talking shit about you and leaking and lying about like sex details and shit. Yeah, it actually does kind of hurt. It is pretty f annoying. Um, and it is pretty hurtful to do that. Yeah, what the f Seriously, but if you're going to talk shit about me sexting, he's going to try to have it both ways. If you can't handle or you're hurt by or upset by, you don't want your sexting details or sex details being leaked then yeah, don't have sex with streamers. Fine. If you don't want to get abused or harassed or get or involved in any of these online communities, then don't f streamers. Okay, based. Why not apply that standard to Lav? Doesn't that kind of destroy your, literally the entire premise of your article? That maybe Lav just shouldn't be involved in this world then if that's the standard that you're gonna have? That's going to happen. But somebody gossiping about you and then that gossip getting aired out in public is not a justification for you to retaliate at all. It, first of all, I don't even believe I did retaliate for that. Although if I did, I don't think anybody would have blamed me for it. Pretty sure the retaliation came from her comparing me to Harvey Weinstein and constantly, incessantly having these huge streams where her and Mr. Girl are talking about me constantly. Pretty sure that's where the any, if you want to even say I attacked her, probably came from that more than anything else. Okay. Uh... Destiny is going to fire back by saying Lav's TikTok was a bigger platform than his stream. It, she didn't talk about his dick on her TikTok. It doesn't matter. That's not relevant. What? I don't even... Um, if Destiny gets a shit leaked, it's just a product of the environment and your actions. Do you know... Yes! Absolutely. Do you know how many people Destiny has hooked up with or sexed with? that are all streamers and all know each other and are all gossiping? I'm sorry, who's, of all the streamer girls that I've hooked up with, I'm trying to think if there's a single other one that's ever like leaked a detail and tried to make me sound bad after a sexual interaction. I don't know if anybody has ever done that before in my entire life. And there have been weird sexual interactions where somebody could have, all, all self leak. I've told a joke sometimes on stream where, um, where me and Melina met a woman, and when we were at dinner, the woman made a joke about how, oh yeah, the last guy that I tried to f like had problems getting hard, and that was really embarrassing. And when we went back to our house to f I actually thought about that comment that she made so much, I had problems getting hard, and it f***ed my head, hardcore. That was Merrick. <laughs> that was with Merrick, and we, we f***ed her and everything. She could have leaked that detail if she wanted to like gossip or talk shit about it. She's never leaked that before, ever. And I've never said anything sexually about her before, ever. I don't think I have ever leaked details trying to make somebody look bad. I don't think anybody's ever tried to make leaked details making me look bad. That's a pretty rare thing. Um, I don't know if that's ever happened with... I don't know if that's if anybody's ever ever done that before. Lavis might be the first person. Didn't Mia Rose trash talk? Mia Rose did trash talk me, but... The Mia Rose trash talk is okay because technically I trash talked her first. So that, I'm, I'm okay with it. I understand Mia trash talking me. That's totally fine. I'm okay with it. 
This is not, this is a faulty, false. Like imagine if Merrick was gossiping to people like, oh yeah, like Destiny can't even get a boner, right? Like she could have theoretically been talking shit. That actually says a lot about Merrick's self-control because you left her going to start true. It does. Actually, yeah, Merrick would have brought that out and roast the a ton of times. Um, or I'm pretty sure, Mer I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I think me and Melina and Merrick all filmed videos with her too like she could have there's tons of shit that people could have like the idea that he's trying to act like this is part and parcel with being in the streaming community that it's normal it's actually not it's exceptionally rare that people do this that's why people talk about it so much when it happens it's equivalence like these sentences that you form don't make any sense if destiny gets his shit leaked it's just a product of the environment and your actions okay if lav gets shit on after aggressively attacking people Uh, that's crazy abuse. The, the, you're not making a point. You're just saying things. It doesn't mean anything. It, it's like a tone of voice where you're like, oh, so if a dog... Yeah, another problem too, and I think this probably goes in with the um, narcissism, is Max talks a lot about like what internet communities should do, how they should be regulated, et cetera, et cetera, but he doesn't really have much experience in them. Like you can tell from the catastrophe that is his own subreddit, like he doesn't really understand like how this space works or how he should conduct himself or how he should moderate. Like he has no fucking idea. He's, a, he's an amateur here. He's a newcomer. He has no idea what's going on, but he's trying to come in like he's an expert on like how all this shit works. It's like, bruv, you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You're a newcomer here. You only exist here because I fucking brought you up into this world. And now you're trying to act like you're the expert? What are you talking about? Og eats a bowl of food, then it's one thing. But if a banana gets picked by a monkey and it eats it really fast, then the monkey gets a stomach ache? It's just, it literally doesn't mean anything. You could just say anything in that tone of voice and it, or it's sentence structure, and it makes it sound like you're making a point but you're actually not. If Lav gets shit on, you're, you, you're using the p passive voice. Anyway, I don't. Would you like nothing fries with your nothing burger? Yes, I would. All right, start the calls. Start the calls paper. I'm ready. I'm warmed up. Oh my God. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm okay, but I can hear myself. You should turn the stream off. I don't have the stream on. Well, Ooh. then why can I hear myself? I don't fucking know. Okay. Uh, are you using is headphones? Nope. Is that not paper's job? Stop. Why? How can paper... Wait, are you using headphones or not? I said no. Do you have any? Sure. Okay. I don't think paper can do that for you. Well, not you need for to put, me, but... You need to put your own headphones in. Okay. You can wait. Tell me how you're doing. How are you feeling? Mentally? I'm angry. I'm angry. I fucking know you are. I'm angry at these incredibly stupid comments. Huh? That's very one-sided, Max. It's okay to leak details of sexual inadequacy. You should avoid by not having sex with streamers. But if a streamer makes a gossiply jive back, that's really bad. Okay, here's the power differential is oh what my the article God. is about. It's about how Destiny abuses his power. Destiny has more power than Lav in the system and in the situation. That is what the article is about. So any counter argument that ignores the power differential and turns it into he a justifies tit for tat mudslinging, oh, they're just streamers, oh, the, he just did this and she just did, did that, and so who cares? Anything like that, I'll, I'm just going to say the power differential for shorthand. I'm going to stop explaining this. I wonder if there's anything Lav could do wrong to me at all. Like, could she do anything in terms of online bullying or harassment? Or is it always going to be excused that way? If you're going to not understand or pretend you don't understand, I'm just going to say, remember the power differential? I need... If you don't think there is a power differential, we can agree to disagree. If you do think there's a power differential, but it doesn't matter, then you need to explain why it doesn't matter in your, in your counter argument. But just pretending it's not there is no longer going to be a sufficient response. Okay. 
So Destiny isn't allowed to be mean? Not to laugh. Um, no, I don't think Destiny isn't allowed to be mean. That's not what I said, and I don't agree with that. The, do you remember the power differential? <laughs> remember Max. the power differential? Max. Yeah. Yeah. Can you, hear, can you hear me? Yeah. That sound better? Yeah. Okay. Better. Can you? How's it going? Me. What? Wait, did you just say, how's it going? Yeah, what'd you say? Just say, continue. You're, you're on a diatribe. No, no, no. It's going to be, it's going to, every counter argument is exactly the same, so I can just, okay. I can pause um, or yeah. resume it whenever. Absolutely, <sighs> yeah. Um, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Um, I was angry as you. Just, because I'm not a streamer, I guess. But then sure. neither are you, I guess, because oh. in the past you... That wasn't a... Well, it's kind of a dig, actually. But in the past, you've actually said that you weren't a streamer because you hate streamers, and you say streamers are boring. You say you're an artist and a filmmaker and a, a an essay, do essay maker, so you're not a streamer, but... Um, well, I am a streamer. I think I was um, being, facetious. being facetious when I said that. True. You've kind of abandoned a lot of the things you used to say, including uh -oh. the whole not talking about streamers, because um, obviously that's a big part of your USP now. Is you know, it's kind of the, one of the things that, that you, the few things you're kind of known for now. Actually, is, is talking about streamers, and I'm, I'm not saying that as a negative. I'm just kind of highlighting the fact that a lot of the things you've said in the past, you've oh. kind of reneged on. Yeah, that's not a negative thing to say at all. What what no. with your uh, with it's your a, it's good it's with your good moment. faith honesty with your good faith honesty what else uh, would you like to grace us with or is that what you want me to respond to? Oh, I've got three things here. We'll see how many I can get through. The okay. first thing is um, actually I think it might be interesting because actually I am curious to hear because first um, actually I can't remember the first video of yours was that I saw but it was maybe, maybe one of your like video essays. Yeah, and I do think you are genuinely quite talented, and like your point across and unique perspectives and stuff. I actually do like your work, but um, and I do think it was a crime um, that you're not on YouTube anymore. I think that's shocking, and that should be reversed. Just put it out there. Okay. Um, number one. Yeah, number one. If you could be making money from doing YouTube or anything else, would you still be doing the Destiny article? said in your last hotline that you're doing this because it's your job and people are paying you to do it. Are you just I did, doing wait, this? I, did, I, did, I didn't say I'm doing it because it's my job. Uh, essentially, you know... I, I didn't essentially say that. I don't, I don't agree that I said that. Continue. Would you, is this a question? A quest statement? Uh-oh. It's absolutely a question. It's not a okay. statement. It's a fucking question. All right. If you would have let me finish, you'd have sure. heard it. Okay. So... You definitely said people are paying you to do it. They are. People are paying you to do something. What does yep. that make it? Your job. Makes it your fucking job. Yep. There you go. Again, if you weren't doing this, your job, what would you be doing if you were still on YouTube? Or, or sorry. If, oh, if so you're, you're saying YouTube, if I were still would, on YouTube. Would you, would you still be doing this? Yeah. Uh, you're asking from. It, it kind of feels like people have said. Oh, it's not a question. It's a statement. Okay, go ahead. What do you think? What do you feel? It's not a, what do you think? That's what I want to know. What's your answer well, actually, to your own question? Okay, I'll tell That's, you. It, it, okay. It was purely a question until you said that this isn't your job, which I think is ridiculous. If people are paying. I, I didn't say it wasn't my job. I said I didn't say I'm writing this article because people are paying me. My job is to do whatever I want. Actually, people are paying. Say that. People you will pay me. I could say. I could tell my. Absolutely. I could tell my. I could tell my supporters. 100%. I could tell my supporters that I'm going to make a song about you. One million percent. This is the same thing as you saying that Lav didn't say something to Brianna Wu. Uh oh. But then it turns out actually she did say exactly what Brianna Wu was saying that she said. So trust me, Max. When I say that in last week's hotline, you definitely said the reason I'm. 
saying this, um, this isn't a verbatim quote, but the, the part that you definitely did say is because <laughs> I'm being paid to do it. So I don't have the quote up in front of me, but you, because I was listening to it and it stuck out, not, okay. again, not for negative reasons. Well, I since just, neither of us have the quote in front of us, let me, let me clarify something. Mm-hmm. Definitely My, said people are paying me to. Well, actually, I'll just ask you: Are people paying you via Patreon or any other fucking source of income to do this article? Because it seems like this to get to the quiz statement part. This is your last ditch effort as being an online content creator. And once this is done, and this, it seems like this is why you're drawing it out so long. Once this is done and out of the way, there's nothing left because you're oh. not on YouTube. Oof. That mm. was my question. If you were still on YouTube and on other yeah. platforms, what what would you be doing? Would you feel so hell bent on doing this? Yes, he has to say yes. Or would you be doing? Would you, would you like to be doing other things? You know, well, why don't you, you? Would you feel so passionate about this? Why don't you just answer? Sure, I think you would be doing other things. I think you. I think the whole Destiny thing would have annoyed you deep down, because you know, just no, no well, not knowing you, but viewing you as an online person and having an idea of how you operate it, I think irk, it, it irks me yeah it irks that's a good word it, yeah i think it deep i think it deeply bothers you um i got in tonight you know speaking to papers saying about abuse that's kind of like low down on my list like i i do empathize with you a lot and i think yeah. where i empathize with you is this sense of justice and um, i've actually i Laugh about it, but I shouldn't because my partner actually was like, "You could have gotten seriously hurt." Um, as as a, an example, um, I was walking past a construction site, and you know, I'm tall, but I'm not very built. I'm quite slim. I don't look imposing at all, apart from height. And a builder shouted something at me because I had headphones oh. in, and I'd walked over a road, and there was like a digger or something coming out, and I didn't see it because I was looking at my phone, and that was my bad. And I took my headphones out and I apologized and it was all fine and I walked ahead and I heard this worky who was like taller than me and I'm six foot three and he Jesus. was like he shouted like he was like fucking moron or something and I turned around and went back to him and fronted him. If he'd hit me, you know, he'd have won. In any fight, he'd have won. But it all goes back to my fucking my relationship with my dad, the fact that I wasn't able to ever you know, defeat him or confront him, or it, and it comes out in like weird fucking scenarios that I'd get hurt. I know just Listen, what you don't, mean. Don't, don't. Sorry, I thought you were gonna tell me to shut up. Or like something. Yeah, yeah. So, so this rage, this inner rage, this sense of injustice, and I wish I, I, I my bad guy had got his comeuppance. It comes up in like really fucking random scenarios, and people yeah. look at me like. It's like an overreaction. It's a huge fucking overreaction. It's a course correction. It's it's and it's to other people it's bizarre and it's scary, but to me it feels really justified and normal. That's because I know my life, but other people don't know my life. Word. Yeah. Yeah. So what, um, so when I, when I super chat at ten dollars. I would like you to write an article about how Destiny the streamer is abusive. Please consider this a down payment. Thank you. Mission accepted, dude. Thank you. There you go. See, it is your fucking job. You're right. Okay. Um, I knew it was right, and that's why I said it. But yeah, but sorry. So to say uh, all that, that was just to say I empathize with you, and that's kind of why I like you. Okay. I'm not saying all of this as like a hater because I genuinely do like you. But yeah, I think. If this wasn't happening, if you were still on YouTube, um, or if this was happening and you were still on YouTube, you would be, be doing, doing other it. things. All right, you well. I don't think you'd be doing this at all. Okay. Okay. Um, and I guess wanted to, from you, do you agree or do you think actually you would be putting all this time and energy into an article? Um, in mind if you're still on other platforms able to do other things well you can't really divide your time because it sounds like it has been quite a big workload well i my schedule usually is i do two to three streams a week so one hotline and then one expert two to interview three or discussion a week. And sometimes oh maybe two um and i've been doing that so i probably would be doing that and working on and then i'm usually working on a, a larger project and my larger project right now is this article. So I think I would probably be doing exactly what I'm doing. But that's just my own biased opinion. I don't know 
for sure, because I am banned from YouTube, you could totally be right. Well, I guess we'll never know. I think you're probably wrong. Yeah. But yeah. When you, when you think, you know, think back on your videos that you've done in the past and think how long they take to research, to write, mm -hmm. film, to edit, and then think of all the people you've contacted, all the different servers you've gone into, you've got back and forth with these people. Right. Would have you taken, gotta, if you were doing, if you were doing something on I'm the gonna, side. I, I have to, do, you gotta get to the next point or I have to kick you. Ooh. Sure, okay, I'll just end that with you're wrong and I was correct. You would okay. definitely Got not be doing the article. Okay. Um, the article's your last ditch effort. So, in your last hotline, um, yeah. you, again, the one that you said that you're paid to do this because it's your job, but you've conceded. Um, in your last hotline, you completely refused to admit doing any abuse towards your ex and instead spent a long time telling a story about how your ex actually was the abusive one. Hurt God, I wish I could get a hold of his ex. And turned you away from your family. Seems that you can't admit fault, and you abdicated all responsibility. Uh, sorry, what? Who hit him with I the can what? Read all of that again. Okay. If you really want me to? Yeah, sorry. Apologies. Uh, so yeah, in your last hotline, you completely refused to admit doing any abuse towards your ex and instead <laughs> spent a long time telling a story about how your ex actually was the abusive one who hurt you and held a knife to you and turned yeah. you away from your family. You can't seem to admit fault in any capacity when it comes to whether it's online content, past relationships, it's just, it seems to be impossible. Um, you just, you, you abdicate responsibility all the time. Okay. Again, why why why'd you do that? And oh god, that I, Britney I tweet. Oh no. Yeah. And I. This isn't again. It's not even a quick statement because I don't. I used. To. Oh no, Charlie must be in the most normie bubble ever, which is fine, totally cool. But he sex chains and seems very uncomfortable with more free sex liberation bubbles. Kind of interesting that Sneeko is much more progressive than Charlie in some ways. Sneeko literally just tweeted at me, W for no gay people in Dubai. <laughs> Brittany, no! <laughs> oh, no. We have a platform. F*** that shit. F*** that shit. Stupid ass like a mindset. That. If you are on the internet and you're speaking publicly, you have a platform. And you're, you, should, you should be held to the same standards as somebody with a bigger platform. It's... Wait, who, who is he talking about? XQ6 fans and XQ Destiny, Mr. Girls 1. That's just on the Viviana drama. What is the Viviana drama? There ain't, there ain't even any drama. This is old news. Why would she even bring it up? Deal the plot. It's not because you have less viewers, motherfucker. It's because you have, you have less, you can do dumber shit, okay? Stop acting, okay? Like, because your impact is less negative or doesn't reach that many people, okay? You can do more hatred and dumber shit. To kind of advocate. What's the I third question? Have. Um, I want to say, yeah. Well, I want you to, to answer this one. I just said, I did. Why? I said, I don't, I don't do that. You said, why do I abdicate responsibility? I don't. All you absolutely do. I disagree. What's the next question? You know, on you, Netflix, okay. when they have this skip intro thing pop up, can we do that? No, you disagree. Tell me why you disagree. It seems like you can never admit when you're wrong. Can't seem to admit, you know, it's the point where you said you, you by your, your own logic, I would face. be unable to answer this question. You're, you're telling me you're unable to admit when you're wrong and you're trying to get me to admit when I'm wrong. And I'm telling you I'm not wrong. True. Isn't this what you would expect me to say? <laughs> no, because there's been very few times like again in last week's. What's the third life. thing? I'm going to kick you if you don't answer this. What's the third thing? can't ask me a question and then not let me answer. Trust you've only got like two callers. All right, paper. Next. Bring them on. Ooh, you got Unskippable cutscene. Oh, God. This is good practice, though, because after the article comes out, it's just going to be concentrated that. True. 
Uh, I don't like disagreeing with Max. Lav has had a lot of shit thrown at her, and there's no reason to treat anybody as badly as she has been, but I don't think she's faultless, and Max wants to treat her as if she is. It's not that she's faultless. It's that her faults don't matter. She's a it's small streamer. It's that there's streamer. a power differential. The power differential. Don't forget it, guys. And there is no way anyone can act. The way Destiny No matter what does. they do or say, literally, that will make me think that Destiny's behavior towards Lav is not abusive. True. There is no amount of she deserved it that you can dump on this situation to confuse me into thinking that Destiny is not abusive. Based. Geez, Mr. Girl is in a sour mood today, it seems. Oh, you, that sour does not even begin to fucking describe it. My mood would melt the fucking shoes off your feet if you stepped in it. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hi. Um, I watched your, your talk, um, with Sherry, Sherry Bowman a few days yeah. ago about cyberbullying. Um, I, I thought it was really good. I thought it was really interesting. Um, I, I, especially the stuff about the connection with sadism. Yeah. Um, and also about it being easier to commit sadistic acts as a cyber bully if you see the other person is subhuman or or other in some sense new camera angle um and and then i, I was thinking about that because i feel that um you're easily other otherized yeah um you agree with that you mean just because i'm a little odd well, I, I don't know about what odd. the mail? It's a bit loaded. I, I think. Can I find your what? Well, George? why would you oh. agree with that? Um, I think I. I think. I am, um... Well, Max let go once his article flops. Uh, only if you find somebody new to obsess with. He held onto his Dr. K thing until me, and now he'll hold onto me until whatever the next thing is. And... When most people would... Give up? I'll persevere. Be protective and be like... Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not the weird... Uh, you know that type of humor... When somebody says, well, that wasn't weird at all. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> yeah. I really don't like that. So brave. And I, I guess people don't like being a target of that type of humor. And so they'll, they'll start, they'll join in and be like, <laughs> that was weird. Yeah. yeah. And I don't like that. I'm like, okay, I'm weird. Okay. That's fine. I think I, I think I just don't really, um, I don't pull into my shell in those situations. In fact, I do the opposite. I ooze out of my shell. I'm the first naked turtle that you've ever seen. Not the first, but I am a naked turtle. I will crawl all the way out of my shell and be like, you've never seen a fucking turtle's belly before, have you? It's naked belly. Um, yeah. 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 So I think that that, if, if you are like a, if you, I mean, I think this kind of is part of the reason for the difference between my interactions with experts where in academics where I'll tell them stuff and they're like, oh, that's interesting. And they, 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 they never do that. They're never like, you did what? Like for the most part, some of them do, mm -hmm. but most of them don't. Whereas if you're in the, the high school bully destiny sphere, then everyone is constantly trying to make sure that they are one of the cool kids all the time. So, yeah, I... I don't, I'm willing to reveal things about myself that make me look weird. So brave. And I don't pull in when that happens. Oh, uh, so so you think specifically just kind of the stories that you tell um, convey a, a part of yourself that makes people, well, uncomfortable or react in a way that's offensive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I, 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 I think I see that. When people are watching me or Lav get bullied, there's a part of their brains that's like, I would never do any of the stuff they did, so all they had to do is not be themselves. All they had to do was be like a giant pussy like me, and then they wouldn't be getting hate. If they just kept all of their thoughts and their feelings to themselves, this wouldn't happen. All you had to do was be one of the cool kids. It's almost like, like a jealousy. Oh, for sure. For they sure. hate us because they ain't us. I, I find you useful, interesting, um, incredibly uncomfortable to watch, though, mm. because... Um, but I, and I, I would kind of say I, I feel very jealous of you because it looks risky, it looks Beautiful. vulnerable, but it looks true, it looks honest. Yeah. And that's something I'm, I respect, I admire that. That seems right, that yes. seems better. True. Um, even if it's more unsafe. Yeah. Um, and so, so I think watching you so i i watch a lot a lot of streamers um well no that's a lie i what i mean is i watch both you and and destiny i don't really have a preference i interact more with your community but um i think like it's very easy to go back to uh a destiny frame of mind or just an uh, uh just a, a conventional guarded frame of mind of, of the world and looking i don't at think destiny's how... frame is conventional I think, I, think that's, I think that's actually I think that's actually what makes it a cult. Well, and I think it's, he, it's extreme. N- no, he has a very odd frame. Well, he has a lot okay. of beliefs and a lot of blind spots that are very very weird. And if you explain them to a normal person, um, I think they'll be like, "This guy is really weird and insane." But he frames himself as hyper normal and logical Mm. there's the dual narrative where destiny is a unique unusual person with unusual relationships and unusual sex life and unusual positions but also that he has the most normal protected safe logical position and life possible and everything he does and says makes sense true it is that is i think that's what makes it a cult that you're you're being sold a very abnormal mindset and philosophy as obvious and normal um i don't agree i i I think it's conventional to be um somewhat guarded in a sense where you don't show your feelings i think it's i think he's not somewhat guarded no, 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 no. That's why I said he's. That's why I said he's extreme. I'm saying he's an extreme version of a somewhat normal state of being of God. I don't. I don't. I don't agree with that at all. But you, okay. Okay. But you. You just kind of said he's not somewhat guarded. So you're kind of saying he is extremely guarded, and that's what I'm saying. Uh. You're doing it right now. Oh, you're he's doing. Destiny it. is normal. By being abnormal, an extreme version of normal. Mm. But that's it's not abnormal. Normal. Yeah. I didn't say he's normal. I said his extremity makes him abnormal, but it's coming from a place where it's on a spectrum. All I am on the spectrum. Things are on it. Jeff Jeffrey Dahmer is on a spectrum. Mm-hmm. All insane people are on a spectrum. It yeah. is the yes, but. You're making it sound like destiny is somehow different from like any other crazy person. Like I'm not really seeing the distinction. Just just it just in your framing. Like mm. it's normal to want to grab a girl's ass. <laughs> it's normal to get angry at a girl. It's normal if you're really angry to want to hit a woman. Those are normal feelings. It's not normal to strangle and rape a bunch of women and kill them. That makes you a serial killer. That's abnormal. And yet you could take each component of that and say, well, no, no, no. It's normal. It's just extreme. And what, what I'm wondering is what is the word normal then doing in that sentence? Like, I yes, it's, like... It's, an interest, it's an interesting thing to... Okay. Do you see... Do you, do, you, do, you, do you get the point I'm making? I get the point. I feel like you put normal in my mouth. You said, tra- I think you said 
conventional or traditional? In in regards to him being conventional? Yes. Um, Is normal not an acceptable substitute for conventional? Well, no. I, I guess I, I... No, you're Wait, right. I, I did say stop, that. Stop. Stop. Uh-oh. Yeah. Is normal an acceptable substitute for conventional? Sorry. I wasn't thinking. Yeah. Yes. That's okay. Right. Okay. So, again, my point is that there is a dual... There's often a dual narrative about Destiny. And the dual narrative is... He is very unusual and weird and kind of crazy. It's mm-hmm. sociopathic. He calls himself a sociopathic psychological abuser. True. Openly. Yeah. Yes. He said these things. Which is but weird. also but also that he's very normal and doing the most logical, sensible thing that anybody would do. True. Mm-hmm. I am. So I think this like what I was saying earlier, I don't know if you heard it when I was saying if you're if he if he's gonna have a cult protecting him, he should teach them to know when they're being weird because otherwise it just comes off as, as like insane to outsiders. I'm 100% on your side through the divorce, but Max did have a few really good insights that I don't want to lose focus. I'm sorry, I'm losing focus on the sanity. I don't agree with the peeps that say his backstory was an obvious outcome. Okay. This is what I'm talking about, where you seem to think, you seem to have a way of like framing extremely abnormal behavior as normal because it's an, it's an extension of normal behavior. But all abnormal behavior is like that. Even the craziest, craziest people rolling around, smearing, writing, the devil is talking to me in their own shit on a padded wall. That is still an extension of normal, normal behavior. It's just, an, it's just cranked up. But by applying this framing seemingly only to destiny, you still are getting to simultaneously define him as normal and weird at the same time. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I see that for sure. Okay. Um, I, I guess the point of, of why I said that was just more to say initially he's uh, he was easier to identify with than, than you were. You were like a, uh, a hit to the head with a rock really hard. Where he was just like a, a mild sting of, ooh, yeah. Um, which might say more about me, to be honest. I'm not saying that's the case for, for everyone, but... What? Okay. Um, so I, I guess that's that's why I'm saying um, from from that lens, which I was, it was easy for me to, and I keep falling back into it. When if I yeah. look at your behavior, um, it seems so abnormal, and sometimes to an extent that it's just not real. You become okay. Less tell real. me a tell me a behavior that I have. Let's play. I want to play a game. You want to play a game? Yeah. You're going to tell me a behavior I have that you think yeah. is abnormal. And then I'm going um, to try to convince you that it's not the behavior, but the framing. Well, that's kind of... I'm, I'm already agreeing to that. You don't have to prove that to me. I want to I was prove saying it. that. If, uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Um, I think uh, in Destiny's framing... Um, yeah, it would be ridiculous to go on stream um, and openly talk honestly about your feelings and about the whole article situation, just your relationship with Destiny, other streamers in general with Lav. I think yeah. doing that stream is something that would be ungodly um, in the way you did it, at least. Yeah. Do, do you agree with that? Okay, to me... Destiny is very transparently upset about this whole situation. Mm-hmm. Does he still say he like loves me? So and stuff? I, in my frame, calling someone a rapist because you're angry at them or feel betrayed by them is very insane and transparent and pathetic. Damn, it's not a good way to handle your bad feelings. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't even, it, it, the audience doesn't come away thinking that you're not upset. I know they're saying that, but I don't think they really believe that. 
So yeah. it would be less embarrassing. Like what the bad part about saying your feelings is that you're vulnerable and you're embarrassed. And it's, mm. it sucks to have to admit that you're hurt or you're angry about a situation. Also strategically as well. It's just a bit. What's the bad strategy about telling people you're having bad feelings? Um, not just your bad feelings. I mean, if you're kind of speaking about next moves or details about the article, I feel like if Destiny was doing an article, he wouldn't mention it, or he might mention it very rarely. Wow. But the article is about feelings. Hmm. If, if, if the actions of streamers do not have a genuine, deep emotional impact on other people, then there's no such thing as emotional abuse or psychological abuse. There's not even a such thing as sexual abuse, I mean, or sexual misconduct. That's why sexual misconduct is bad. That's why you're not supposed to fuck people who work for you. Because it's psychologically it can harm them. But if there's no such thing... That's not actually the reason why, but... ...as feelings or psychological harm, then there's no... There can't be any abuse. Mm -hmm. So by rejecting the premise that people even have feelings, which I believe he does for his own personal psychological reasons for, because of his own pain, but True. it also Please denies mind the me. very premise oh. that... Psychological and emotional abuse claims would be founded on it, that people have feelings and that people affect e each other's feelings. Yeah. Everyone knows that's why he is doing a lot of what he's doing because he's upset. Have I denied that? But there's a dual narrative, again, that Destiny is extremely upset. You betrayed him, you betrayed your good friend. You're harassing him. You're DMing all of these women in his life. That is pretty weird. You are abusing him. How do you think that makes him feel? But also, yeah. Destiny is unbothered by this. Destiny is laughing about this. Destiny doesn't care about this at all. He's not even going to read the article. Mm -hmm. But those things can't both be true. If the article upsets Destiny, if the process of investigating upsets Destiny so much... Clearly, he buys into the premise that people have feelings then. And pe How, when, am I not, when I say I'm not bothered, it's usually in response to people saying, like, are you nervous that he's going to, like, expose you as being a sex pest? In that case, no, I'm not. But, like, am I bothered that some guy is, like, DMing false allegations to, like, every woman that's ever been on my stream? Yeah, of course. Like, people can be made to feel really bad. I don't, he's, like, way living in both, in, like, these, in two different kinds of worlds right now, where he's, like, trying to say, I, I don't obviously. understand what he's getting at here. Yeah. I guess I'm just saying, do, do you agree that from his framing, it, it would be um, odd to do the actions in the way that you've done them? In his framing, in, yeah, admitting any vulnerability is bad. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, but I still think, um, so I, th I think it's hard to get past that wall of, well, I mean, I, I would never do this. I can't really f understand why he would do this. It doesn't really make any logical sense. Um, and going, hitting that wall means that you are othered inherently by, by that fact. Yeah, um, that's what you're saying. Um, and that makes it so that people don't, um, that's what f around and find out is around and find out is what you say when something bad happens to someone in a position you wouldn't have been in <laughs> and, and then you hit the empathy eject button and you say well that's because you fucked around now you're just finding out yeah yeah um what do you think that does it have an impact on on, on a, a sadist person does it make it But does does it make it make more sense um, with, with with that lack of empathy or I guess it won't ever. Make yeah, sense. I think I, no, no. I think I think um, Destiny provides a him for himself personally and for his audience a parade of people who are okay to torture. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Mm-hmm. 
find us a fucking cunt. Go out there and find us a real cunt. And we'll, we'll wait, did you see the tweet from Anastasia today? No, I don't use Twitter. Check this out, I'm gonna read you a tweet from today. This, this is perfect, this is so great. Oh, then my Ukrainian um, war torn f***ing, oh, my other. <laughs> Jesus okay. Christ. How much have you she lost? The what did she tweet, Max? Tell us. <clears throat> I've never interacted with her uh, before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. With 974 likes. 974 likes. Damn. So, I have not been following what is cooking in the omni-liberal universe for some time. That's destiny. I did some catching up. And now I am borderline salty that Mr. Girl did not approach me for his article. Frowny face. On the scale of 1 to 10, how abused am I? I want to know. Okay. She followed that up. 712 likes. 712. I will admit that I have no idea what it's like to be dogpiled by DGG because they have been total cutie pies towards me. Smiley face. They seem to like me well enough so far. I don't know why exactly, but I heard a rumor that not being an obnoxious, backstabbing, obsessive cunt helps. <laughs> Jesus. Upside down smiley face. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Based. Wow. My God. I mean, it seems, sounds like posturing. He's ready yeah. to go join uh, the yes, Russian it's army. posturing, and it's uh, obviously it's in-group signaling to try to boost her own profile in contrast to mine. Of course, it couldn't be that people think you're actually fucking crazy. Like, obviously, she's only doing it to win favor because God knows that her fucking life in between Russian shellings is defined by the support that she gets from my fucking community, obviously. And be willing to, you know, I'm sure she genuinely feels defensive of Destiny as well. And I remember a time when I felt when I defensive. Was like, why, are, why are all these mean people calling Destiny a bad person all the time. What the heck, guys? Although I did Felt I did have the foresight to not come out in public and be like, Anna's a fucking crazy liar bitch. <laughs> so I but didn't he moderate a conversation between the two of us? But I get where she's I get the feeling that of, of protectiveness of him. Because uh, yeah, he's giving you a ton of affection and money and, and a career and clout and whatever. And you feel grateful and and I'm Sure Does the next wave not come from both sides? Oh her. yeah, fuck, you're right. Um, I don't think that'll last forever. I really don't. Yeah. I don't. Who joined? Yo, yo. Oh, what's up, Zerka? What are you doing? Uh, playing video games. What are you doing? 